Hey, hey, Justin Chamnus here, the Real Estate Wholesalers Club.com. I am very pumped tonight to be sharing with you in this session number one of the virtual co host sale evolution of our four weeks to your first deal accountability team sessions. All right, welcome. We are going to talk about virtual coho sailing tonight and why that should be one of if not the main thrust of your business as a beginning wholesaler out there in this big old real estate world this is how i would recommend that everyone get started virtual coho sailing because it is the easiest fastest way to a check in real estate that i know of in real estate wholesaling and I'm talking about easy now. I'm talking about sitting in your underwear, right? Staying at home, uh, you know, sitting on the couch, got your computer, got your phone, making money. That's what virtual wholesaling or co-wholesaling is all about. And we're gonna jump into all about virtual co-wholesaling tonight. Welcome to session one of this four weeks to your first deal accountability team. This is going to change your life. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome. This is being shared live right here on Facebook Live. So I want everyone to take note of two things immediately. The chat is open. The comments line is open. So go ahead and, uh, you know, share with us. Hey, Usman, how is the UK? <laughs> How's the United Kingdom, man? Thanks for catching us so late tonight. I appreciate you staying up, dude. That's commitment, man. And uh, we hope you get a bunch out of it tonight. And everybody that is joining us and all the people that are about to jump on, there's always a bunch of latecomers to this stuff. And so anyway, we're jumping in on virtual coho sale tonight. We're talking about virtual coho sale. And the reason why this touches my heart so much and why I get so excited about it is because this is what I would consider to be my expertise. I would consider this to be my area of of uh, where I, I, if I have achieved any mastering of any exit strategy in real estate, I would say it is this one right here, the virtual coho sale. And uh, what's going on, Ryan? Good to see you, dude. Hey, what's happening, man? I'm, I'm glad you're here tonight too. And uh, we're talking about virtual coho sailing being my heart and basically the thrust of my business, all right? And uh, I, I suggested that the virtual uh, wholesaling lease options accountability team session last week. Hey, Kelvin, what's going on, dude? Good to see you here, man. We need to talk about your, your deal tonight. Um, yes, last week at the wholesaling lease options, I recommended that we basically be well-rounded wholesalers, right? That we don't just master one exit strategy, an ugly house wholesale transaction or a wholesaling lease options, and that be it. You know, there is also bank owned or REO wholesaling. There is also virtual co wholesaling, which is what we're talking about tonight. And there's also pretty house wholesaling. Did you know that? So there's a lot of different types of wholesaling. And of all of the different types, I think you should master all of them or at least be very proficient at all of them. And, um, you know, my proficiency probably is the highest at virtual coho sale. The reason being is I started out as a wholesaling lease options guy. Like I totally wanted to take my business in the direction of wholesaling lease options. I I put all my energy and my time into learning that. I also spent some time learning ugly house wholesaling, but it just didn't really thrill me. I thought it sounded hard. I thought it sounded difficult, like something that I couldn't do. And so I wanted to put all of my focus and attention on starting my business over on the wholesaling lease option side. And, you know, that's a good idea to do, if, especially if you're new. That's, a, that's not a, a wrong way to think about things. However, 
what I did discover in time is that after doing a, a good number of wholesale lease option deals, that I really still missed being able to do these virtual coho sale or ugly house deals, either one. And uh, I, so I, I kind of felt like I wasn't a well-rounded wholesaler, if that makes sense. And so I wanted to be a well-rounded wholesaler and kind of learn more exit strategies than just an ugly house or just a wholesale lease option. And so basically that's what I set out to do. And I'm very, very glad I, I, I did because when I discovered virtual coho sale and I really did, I'm kind of like you. I mean, I discovered it. I did not invent it. Uh, so I saw other people doing it and I was like, man, that's what I want to do. I mean, that's definitely the gig that I want to get into is this virtual coho sale deal because those dudes are flipping houses in their underpants, man. Like they're they're at home sitting in the you know on the couch and they're still making money and once i heard the strategy of how these guys put this stuff together it completely and totally started making sense for me and so um definitely tonight i'm excited this is one exit strategy that what it has provided for me and my family is the ability and we all have been there i have just like you i put my pants on the same way one leg at a time and uh, I know there's probably some smart guy out there that says, hey, I put my pants on two legs at a time. <laughs> That's not me. I put my legs on my I put my legs on one pant at a time. I promise you that. And I also put my pants on one leg at a time. I promise you that. I'm just like you. I'm no better. I'm no smarter. I'm no, I'm no, uh, you know, I, I didn't start out with, uh, with any monetary, you know, benefits and privilege that maybe perhaps, you know, you think. You think other people have better than you that's not me uh, i didn't start out that way and so in my business in my life in my family there's been times where i've run out of money you know straight up just straight up run out of money you know and uh hey i appreciate it uzman i uh I i've run out of money just like you and here's the best part of a virtual coho sale business is once you have a really good established virtual coho sale business what it's done for me is it has removed the hopelessness right and when I'm talking about hopelessness, I think some of you probably really understand what I'm saying when I say hopelessness. What I'm talking about is, is that feeling that, oh, well, you know, I've run out of money again and, you know, the bills are stacking up again and here I go again. And, oh, no, what am I going to do now? There's nothing I can do to make this kind of money in that kind of time frame. And, and oh, no, you know, that, you know, that hopeless bullshit that I'm talking about, you know exactly what I mean. So, yeah, that's. That's that's what it's done for me is it's removed that element from my life. It's never hopeless for Mr. Justin anymore because of a virtual coho sale business that I started. In other words, I always know that there's more money for me. <laughs> there's always more money for me. There's always another deal for me to do. There's always going to be another deal and I can always be a part of more deals and make more money. It's just a matter of me putting in the time and the effort and making a few calls and some connections and doing the deals. It's it's not a matter of, oh my gosh, I ran out of marketing money and now I need five thousand dollars to do a, a, a mail drop and then and then I gonna I'm gonna have to have, you know, payroll money and I'm gonna have to have this and that and the other thing. It's not like that whatsoever. Virtual coho sale once you've taken the time and made the investment to get the tools and make the thing run properly, this is the easiest way to make money in real estate that I know of, okay? And so that's why I love it. I, 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 I love doing virtual coho sale deals. I love making money on properties that I have never even been to. I have never even seen these places. Okay, and so I'm making money there on these kind of deals, these kind of situations. That's why I love doing virtual coho sale. Doesn't that make sense? It totally does. So um, virtual coho sale, what is a virtual coho sale? That's an excellent question. Let's jump off and start some questions right now. And we'll jump off right there with that question. <laughs> What is a virtual coho sale? A virtual coho sale, in short, is 
a joint venture between you and another wholesaler. Now, that wholesaler may be bringing the property deal or he may be bringing the property buyer, the end buyer, the person with the cash, the customer, the guy buying the property. So there is a joint venture between two wholesalers in a virtual co-wholesale. What makes it so virtual is the fact that you don't have to be the wholesaler that leaves his house and goes and does all of the legwork and negotiations and does all of that stuff and gets the property deal in order to make money. It's virtual in the sense that you can find both the JV partner and the buyer via the internet and make money. Okay, so <laughs> that's the virtual nature of the virtual coho sale. And the co the co nature of the coho sale is that it's you and another wholesaler. And it is a wholesale in the sense that it typically is an ugly, 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 ugly house. Right? So um <clears throat> a virtual coho sale is just that it's a property deal transaction that you're involved in with another coho sailor okay and you two one is providing a property deal and one is providing the buyer and once it closes both of you make money there are a few ways to set these up and do the paperwork and over this next four weeks, I hope to expose you to all of those ways and have you get a great understanding of what those uh, methods are of structuring these and doing the paperwork. There are several ways. So what I have in store for you is the following. You see here is a web page that I have to recruit joint venture partners, but that is not what I want you to notice. I want you to notice at the bottom of this page that there are six steps listed. And these are the six steps in a joint venture coho sale deal. All right. Now, these steps start after <laughs> you have developed an asset, right? And that asset is a buyer's list. So if you do not have a buyer's list, then you cannot really bring a buyer, can you? You see what I'm saying? Now, if you have a property deal, you can bring that property deal. But in remember, in a joint venture co-wholesale Virtual or non-virtual doesn't matter any any type of joint venture coho sale transaction You're going to have to bring one of the other to the table either the buyer or The property deal now. I always 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 Recommend that all of the people that are my mentees my my employees my assistants my acquisitions team I always recommend that everyone start out with building a buyer's list. Don't try to go as the wholesaler bringing the property deal. Go first as the wholesaler bringing the buyer. And there's a reason why I recommend this. First off is because it is easier for you as a beginner to bring the buyer to build a buyer's list and bring the buyer. Now, if you can build a buyer's list and bring the buyer, then then you're you're there. You're halfway through, see? You've brought something to the table. You have a active buyer's list and potential buyers for a property deal. Now you can bring that asset to the table. <clears throat> now, uh, the other wholesaler would have to bring the property deal in that case. So, Assuming that you've built a buyer's list and don't get discouraged, don't be discouraged. I'm going to talk more about how to build a buyer's list and that's going to be homework tonight, okay? How to build a buyer's list, but we're gonna get set up. But I'm just talking about flow and what a coho sale or virtual coho sale is, okay? Number one, it's a joint venture between two wholesalers. 
I am assuming in this example, because I'm about to instruct you on how to get a cash buyers list, I'm going to instruct you now in a flow where it is assumed that you are bringing a cash buyers list or cash buyer to the table and your JV partner is bringing a potential property deal. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, step one, if he has the property deal and you have the buyer's list, is to verify that that dude has this house under contract, <laughs> right? Now, the reason I say this is, is because this has become a very, very popular technique to make money in real estate. A very, very popular technique. And the reason why it's popular is because if you can do it, and you want to do it and you want to put the time into making it work right which i'm showing you in four weeks how to get to your first deal then you can be that guy that does deals sitting in his underwear right but if you are uh like some folks who are maybe a little less um blessed on the character side as as you these guys are more crooked and lazy they are trying to peddle off property deals to folks like you that have a buyer's list and they haven't even got the guy under contract yet. They're just hoping that you'll bring a buyer and then, then they can talk their guy into actually wanting to sell. Okay, do you really want to waste your time screwing around with a yo-yo uh, yo -yo like that? No, you, you probably don't. So in a joint venture wholesale where you're bringing the property buyers you'll want to verify that your jv partner bringing the property deal has the property under contract how do you do that you ask him to show it to you it's that simple you're gonna want to see it anyway because in this particular transaction you're gonna want to understand what the spread is and what so in order to know what the spread is or the profits you're going to have to know what that base contract was anyway right and then you're also going to have to know what it's selling to the buyer for which you should know because it's your buyer right so you'll have to be able to calculate what the profits are so you'll know what your your split is and what your what your due is all right so ask him to show it to you if he will not show it to you I want you to assume he either one is not interested in a joint venture coho sale with you or number two, he is a crook. Okay, one of the two. If he will not show you the contract, drop the phone and walk away. All right, I don't know if I'm, I can't be any more clear than that. That is straight what's up right Do, does anyone have any questions about that what's going on Carlos what's happening man good to see you dude so anybody got any questions so far step number two establish a JV fee and sign a JV agreement. Okay, establish a JV fee and sign the agreement. In other words, have a conversation with this other wholesaler guy and decide, are you guys splitting the profits 50-50? Are you adding on and doing a, what we call a double assignment? We'll talk more about that as we go through the four weeks. Um, are you you know, are you going to have a conversation with a guy and decide, like, you know, are we both getting paid here and how much? I mean, sure you are. You know, that's part of the deal. That's before you even start to show it to your buyers. Make sure he has it under contract, step one, and then step two, decide what the split is as if you're successful. I mean, don't you want to know what the payday is? <laughs> of course you do. So decide that and then sign a JV agreement with this person, with this other wholesaler. I do have a JV agreement and I will make that available to you here during the four weeks. It is not necessarily important this evening because we're going to focus on buyers lists this evening and building a buyers list. Now, step number three, 
after you've seen the contract and you and the other JV partner have decided what the profit, profit splits are and so on and so forth, then what you're going to do simply is market that contract to your buyers. How do you do that? Through an email blast, through text blasts, by picking up the phone and calling and talking. <laughs> That's how you do it. You don't have to leave your house, but you do have to let them know <laughs> that they, you do have to let them know that you have a property deal for sale, right? Hey, what's up, Rosalind? Good to see you here. Step number four, hook up one of them cash buyers. All right, when one comes forward, you answer the questions. You do the light negotiations that you'll have to do. You do the facilitating that you'll have to do and finding out the answer to this question or that one or however, and then you'll entertain that offer and you'll put the deal together. Step number five, send that JV agreement you signed in step two over to the title company. Now, at this time, I always, always, always include an invoice stating that the title company should pay me X amount of dollars and this is the method by which to do so, okay? That also accompanies this JV agreement as I send it to the title company. What else goes to the title company besides that? Well, your base contract and your assignment agreement, right? Those are the agreements that your buyer and your JV partner and the seller are on. And the title company will need all of those as well as your JV agreement and your invoice. And step six, the title company will set up closing with the cash buyer and the cash buyer will purchase the contract and close on the deal. And at that point, the title company will send payment to both you and your JV partner. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Does that make sense so far? That is the process of a virtual co-host sale. Now, I know, I know, I know there are questions. I know there are questions. So, what are those questions? Let's throw out some questions, guys. What are the theory questions? There are theory questions, I know. <laughs> There are folks that say, hey, what do I do here? Or what's this mean? Or how does this work? This is your time. I want you to notice in the description of this, I believe in the description of this particular post, I might have put the Skype number. You can call in if you want and we'll talk right here live. Wouldn't that be cool? All right, so if I put the Skype number up there, which I should have, if you're looking for me, it's J Andre Music, J A N D R E Music. That's my Skype username. <laughs> so if you want to Skype me, go ahead and Skype me. And I'll, I'll chime you in right here live and we'll listen to your pretty voice and we'll all talk. That'd be, that, wouldn't that be cool? That'd be pretty cool. So anyway, uh, I do have a question here that's come in from Kelvin Harris. And uh, so let's go ahead and, and read that. What title company do you use? Do you find one in your city? <laughs> yes, absolutely. I found one in my city. I found one in my city and you can too. It's not hard. Um, title companies, I use one here in town called Accurate Title. Accurate Title. Okay, they're not a nationwide deal. And I know that there are some uh, mentees some people in the group that say hey we need to figure out a way to get you know 
we need to figure out a way to, to get a nationwide title company or can you tell me a nationwide title company that can service all my deals no matter where I'm doing them at and you know the the point of fact is is you know no I don't no I don't I don't know a nationwide title company I don't know one that'll meet your needs in every town across America but I do know who knows the one that you need to use in that particular market area in that deal. And that is either one, the homeowner, number two, the JV partner, or number three, your buyer. And if that isn't enough, then all you would have to do is put a post on Facebook in a local REI Facebook group in that market area and just ask and there will be investors trip over themselves to tell you what title company to go to and that's exactly what I do okay so you know title companies that's an easy thing I mean you literally could Google title companies and the name of the city of your market of choice and you could call 10 of them in a row and probably find one or two that's pretty good Excellent, excellent question. Excellent, excellent question. And you guys got some more questions coming in here too. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and take another question. How do I find cash buyers? <laughs> it's pretty easy to find cash buyers. And we were going to talk about that because that is your homework. Remember in a joint venture coho sale deal, you have to have to have to bring one of the two things to the table. It doesn't matter if you want to bring a property deal or you want to bring a property deal buyer, but you're going to have to bring one of them to the table. And the easiest way to get started is to bring your cash buyers list to the table. So you have to be able to build a cash buyers list. Now, let's talk about where to build a cash buyers list. Okay, JB? <clears throat> when you build a cash buyers list, you're going to want to be more specific than just anyone, anywhere. Do not make that mistake. Do not make the mistake of anyone, anywhere, because that's not how people like to be marketed to. All right? Now, what I recommend is that you pick, you pick particular cities, and if you want to know how like to chunk down cities, I would take Craigslist as an example. Craigslist has done an excellent job of identifying specific market areas. All you have to do is go look at craigslist.org and see all of the places that are market areas in the United States, these are all potential market areas for you. It's not just major uh, metropolitan urban areas like Kansas City, where I'm at, uh, St. Louis, Missouri, Orlando, Florida, Sacramento, California, Memphis, Tennessee. It doesn't have to be Chicago, Illinois, or New York, New York. You know, I these places are, some of them are just, are, are too big even really for, probably for you to get started in very well. And so, you know, you don't have to go by way of just, you know, what are the biggest names written on the map? Uh, you, you, can, you can be more specific than that and do a little research on Google and find what are the best market areas in the country right now. And it changes. So you when you're watching this video uh, live tonight, I can tell you Memphis, Tennessee is really a cool place to, to be, right? Kansas City is. Uh, St. Louis, Missouri is, okay? There are several, several others that are great places to be. Houston, Texas, I've heard is a great place, and Dallas and Austin. So anyway, uh, and we'll talk about that too because uh, Kelvin has, uh, Kelvin's got some property deals down there, and he needs a JV partner with some buyers in Texas. And I'm like, well, I know we got some dudes from Texas, Right here in in our group, um, we need to definitely get them on on tap here because this seems like an opportunity that Kelvin's putting out there. And um, I was kind of surprised nobody jumped on that just yet. But you know, hopefully somebody will jump on that. It is on the Facebook group wall. 
if you want to build a buyer's list in Texas, there's a JV partner potential for you. Okay, Kelvin Harris right there. Uh, you can see him in the chats. He is a potential JV partner for you if you are in the state of Texas and you are interested in either one, bringing a buyer or building a buyer's list to be able to bring a buyer. Okay, so that's what's up with that. Hit up Kelvin and uh, make that relationship happen because remember, this is about having a relationship with a buyer's list and with a JV partner. And, I, and that's one right there, Roslyn Beaumont. There you go, Massachusetts. If we got anybody else hailing from Massachusetts, they need to tag on right there with, with Roslyn. Okay, so we're going to read this, uh, this next question. And uh, I don't know. Maybe I lost it. <laughs> I lost where the question's at, man. Okay, here's the question from Carlos. From Carlos. Will you be able to do this with overseas investors as I've noticed lots of out of the USA investors do deals in the USA? It's an excellent question. Excellent question. <coughs> yeah, um, there are out of out of the country wholesalers. Yeah. There are out of the country cash buyers <laughs> right Woo! that's what i'm talking about see that's what i'm talking about we are as wholesalers bringing deeply discounted typically off-market properties right to our cash buyers that are both domestic and international Right. That's in the Ugly House Wholesaling Training Course, by the way, guys. If you want to check that out, I think that's lesson one, and it's pretty kick-ass. Uh, that's all free. It's over at justinshamness.com, or it's at uh, realestatewholesalersclub.com, either one. So go check that out. But, uh, yeah, you can use international investors all day long, and, in fact, some of them will pay more than 70 80 90%. So... You know, that is exactly what you need to be doing, man. Excellent, excellent question. Excellent question. That is exactly what you need to be doing. All right. Okay. How do I find JV partners to team up with? Usman, Usman. Yeah, good question. Yep. What do you do to get JV partners to team up with? What do I do to get JV partners to team up with? <coughs> yep. Pretty simple process, guys. And we're going to cover this in week number two and three. Tonight, we're going to talk about finding cash buyers, but getting... JV Partners is not that complicated. And I have as a free gift, aww, aww, a free gift for you <laughs> just for participating in the four weeks to your first deal. Next week, I'm going to ask for your market choice, okay? What is your market choice? Where are you going to launch your first coho sale deal? And then I am going to provide you with a list of active wholesalers and their contact information in that market. Boom! I just said it. I just said it. I just said it, guys. I am going to provide you with, just for being here, in the four weeks to your first deal, the, the, the virtual coho sale first deal accountability teams just for being here i'm going to have my team do a bunch of work for you and get a list of active wholesalers and their contact information in your market area of choice 
so basically what I'm getting at is, is, hey, that's how you do it. You know me. <laughs> Actually, no, guys. That is not true. That is not true. It's not about knowing me. I am hooking you up with that. I am hooking you up with that. Do not get that confused. But it's not about knowing me. It's about knowing how to find the right information. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Down here, um, there is a manual way of finding JV partners, and that is going through Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace, typically, in order to get JV partners. So, yeah, that's how you do it, manually. But I'm going to give you the not-so-manually way of doing it. <laughs> And I'll show you down here, once this page loads, it's a little slower. I need to buy me a really big gaming computer. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like a gaming setup? Because it's totally like, uh, <laughs> it, it slows down when I'm live broadcasting. And I need like a, uh, I need a gaming computer. So I need to go invest in one so that I don't have this lag. But look at this down here, the real estate wholesaler tools. Oh, here's a pop up. Boop, boop, beep, boop. co sale jump start list. Yeah, normally I would sell this to somebody for like 27 bucks because I got to have my, you know, got to have my team doing this. But yeah, if you want to check out what I'm talking about, it's this, it's this right here. And I'm actually going to do this for everybody and give this to them. Uh, all the people that are on tonight and next week, I guess, is what next week is really when I was going to do this. Because uh, tonight we're talking about buyers. And I did not forget about you guys. Somebody asked about how to get buyers. And hey, we're going to talk about that too. So here's a jump start list. If you want to get some leads, yeah, normally that would cost 27 smackaroos. 27. But tonight, because I got, you know, I got this, I got this thing in me that says I want you to succeed. You know what I mean? I got this thing in me that says I want you to succeed. If there was anything in the world that I knew I could do to help you be a success, and it was in my ability to do this, that kind of guy and it is in my ability to do this so I'm gonna do this for you guys next week next week so um, yeah don't miss next week that's how you get JV partners and uh, I think it's a it's a heck of a jump start it's a heck of a jump start <laughs> All right, guys, so we're talking about buyers, how to get buyers, because remember, you're going to have to bring a buyers list. Well, first off, you're going to have to pick a marketplace. You're going to have to pick a marketplace. I recommend, now see, I live in a major urban metropolitan area, okay? Now, that means that there's a lot of people here in town that don't know me. <laughs> <clears throat> now, I am pretty popular. <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong now. I, I, I am pretty popular. So, uh, I, but not everybody knows Mr. Justin. Not everybody knows Mr. Justin whatsoever. So, basically... I'm able to do virtual co-wholesaling right here in my own town. And I do very, 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 very much of it. <laughs> All right. I, I sell properties here in my own marketplace that I've never even seen. Okay. I've never even driven past them. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I have also done virtual co-wholesale deals in other markets in cities that are too far for me to drive to comfortably today okay 
So now, what do I recommend as far as marketplace goes? What I recommend as far as marketplace goes is take it, take it to the streets, man. <laughs> take it to the streets, you know. Get out there and your own marketplace and mix it up. And and then once you've gotten a transaction or two, launch into building buyers lists in other markets, okay? And the reason I recommend that is because if, if you do want to go see a buyer or go see a joint venture wholesaler, you can easily convert this from a virtual co-wholesale over into just a regular ugly house co-wholesale and just go see, you know, do some legwork and make it happen. And, uh, you know, that's kind of nice to be able to do when you get started. So there are some benefits to starting in your own home market area. Now, there are some benefits to starting away from it, too. And it's just as easy to do it here as it is to do it somewhere else. But what you do not want to do is make the mistake of wanting to do a, you know, a deal here in this market area and then one over here in this market area and then one over there in that market area and then one over here in this new place and you know you don't have buyers lists in all these places right you're gonna have to start somewhere with a with an asset of some kind a buyers list or a property deal so you're gonna have to build a buyers list so what i'm suggesting to you is, is build your buyers list in the market one market area of your choice and in that same market area i'm going to provide you that coho sale jump start list to help you get started on finding joint venture partners okay now that's not going to be available every month in all of these four week sessions just this one because you guys are studs right you showed up right and you ladies okay I, you're probably not studs, but that's whatever the comparable, you know, I don't know what it is, but the opposite of stud. Like the feminine opposite of stud, I mean, that's, I don't know. So anyways, yeah, let's build buyer's list. Pick a market and let's get going. Let's get going. Pick a market and let's get going, okay? So that's part of your homework tonight. Number one, pick a marketplace. Pick a market. Is it going to be where you live or is it going to be Memphis, Tennessee? Or is it going to be Dallas, Texas? Or is it going to be Milwaukee, Wisconsin? Or is it going to be something else? You have to decide. Don't try to be a nationwide master of this yet. Start local somewhere <laughs> okay you can't start out being nationwide you have to have buyers lists all right and i'm talking about good buyers lists not shit you buy off of some program someplace right that's exactly right kelvin that's your homework tonight pick a market and build a buyers list i'm going to show you two things about building a buyers list all right and they're not going to take very long and we're going to sign off tonight now, I've got here on my uh, on my computer screen share that same website, realestatewholesalersclub.com. If you go all the way down to the bottom, you'll see real estate wholesaler tools. And there is get response down here. That is an email capture and blast program, okay? I love get response because it makes it easy for me to build a buyer's list. It provides me a landing page. It provides me the ability to store all these and keep all these names and email addresses in a, in a way that I can send them all an email from my phone. Okay. I can send them from the laptop. I, I, I this is how I stay in touch with my buyers. This is my buyer side machine right here. Okay. All right. Now, I don't own get response or any of that. It's just it's just it works, man. That's why I use it. So you can go here and check it out. I think you'll get a discount or something if you use that link. I honestly I really don't know. I couldn't tell you um about the discount. But yeah, that's that's a uh, an excellent tool. You're going to need a mail 
system of some kind. There is one called MailChimp.com. I'm going to show that to you too. And I've heard that MailChimp is free. I've used MailChimp. I used MailChimp maybe 10 years ago. It was free. And I like that it was free. But, you know, you kind of have to grow up eventually. And when you get your first deal, take a little cash and invest in some real tools. Um, this tool here it will get the job done probably. But, you know, at the same time, it's it's not what you need. You know, you get what you pay for sometimes. And that is, you know, that is not what I want when it comes to my buyer marketing. I don't want some crap-ass program that was free that only does half of really what I need it to do. Okay? And uh, so get response. That's an important thing to uh, to check into. You'll definitely want to look into to something that is an email system. So homework, decide on a market area, pick a market area. One market area, guys, not 17. You're going to go to fucking global right now, day one? <laughs> okay, pick one, okay? And then go get an email blaster system set up for that one, <laughs> okay? And once you've done that, then you need to go build a buyer's list. And this is not go buy a buyer's list. I'm talking about building a buyer's list. And I'm going to show you how to do it. There's two ways that you need to be doing this for yourself on a regular routine basis at least once a month. And that is you need to be putting an ad on Craigslist. And let me see if I can show you an ad that I, if I can pull up one of my... I'll pull up one of my Craigslist accounts and I'm going to show you an ad that I use. And, uh, and I'm also going to tell you how you need to be doing this with Facebook. Guys, you need to set a goal of building a buyer's list. Number one, picking your market area. Number two, getting your email blaster system set up for that market area. And number three, you're going to want to get your buyers list built you need a goal of 150 buyers on that list guys what 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 huh he said 150 what yeah 150 names and email addresses i'm not talking about go find you a fucking buyer okay what are you going to build your entire business on one customer Okay, no, go get you 150 because it's going to take 150 names and numbers in your email blaster system. At any given time, you'll have two or three buyers ready to buy right freaking now. If you've got four or five buyers in there, <laughs> come on, go back to work. If you got 150, now we're talking... Now we're talking making money. All right. Now, that was my soapbox on buyer's list there about the number that you're going to need to have. But I want to show you uh, two things that you need to be doing to grow this buyer's list. And don't get discouraged on me now. Don't go there with them negative-ass thoughts that sometimes creep in that you can't get 150. That's bullshit. You can get 150. You can get 150 by the end of the week. I, you totally can. Hey, let me ask a question. Are you still on here, Usman? Usman, are you on here? Usman's from the UK, the United Kingdom. He's not even in this country. And he bought our one-on-one -on -one phone consultations coaching. And so I've been coaching him along one-on-one -on -one a little bit. And that dude there, he's building a buyer's list. Are you building a buyer's list still, Usman? And, and uh, how long have you been building it? And how many do you have so far, if you don't mind sharing, dude? I'm going to give him a minute to chime in, but I'm going to show you how, how you build a buyer's list. You go to Craigslist. 
and you make a post you post in craigslist looking for cash buyers yeah Usman said he's been looking for cash buyers for a couple weeks that's how long he's been after this look at this look at this i've got ads up here for all kinds of stuff but here's one <clears throat> you know what this house doesn't even exist I stole this picture from somewhere else. Usman's got two, 200 to 300 in Memphis, Tennessee right now, depending on how you look at it, he's saying. In two weeks, guys. So don't get discouraged that you can't do this. I appreciate you sharing that, Usman. That's awesome. Yep, he's using multiple tools. That's right. That's right, and I'm I'm going to show you two right now, but, you know, there are other ways to do this. He's exactly right. Man, I'm glad you said that, dude. Home run with that comment. All right, I'm a real estate investor. Well, watch this shit. Look at this. I don't even capitalize the I. I'm a real estate investor who has bad punctuation. I fix and flip guy, and I'm always looking for property deals. And I sometimes have more than I can handle myself. If you're interested in being added to a list where I can notify you when new property deals come in, text me, let me know your name and email, or you can self-subscribe and I'll tell you how. I've been wholesaling and investing in KC for almost 20 years, Justin. The point is, is that it's just conversational, man. There's no magic words here. No magic words. It's just an ad that asks if you're out there in the world and you're a buyer let me know and then i add them to my get response okay so that's how i post ads and you should have an ad going every day and the best part of that is is once you've got an ad set up you can renew that thing pretty frequently and uh, it saves you on having to make posts and once you figure out how to do a post and you've got a, two or three faux pictures, I call them, somebody calls them phantom ads, shit. I call them faux ads because that's what they are. They're fake ass ads, fake ass ads. Yeah. And eventually you'll, you'll realize that, you know, uh, there's a lot of fake ass ads on Craigslist, not just yours, but it actually will grow your buyers list because, you know, and it's not fake in the sense that, you know, you are growing a buyers list because you do intend on having property deals to offer these folks. So, all right, let's take a look at Facebook now. Facebook here, um, in every major city at least, there is a real estate group. And you can see here, I'm typing it in the search bar, Kansas City, that's, that's where I'm at. This is my home market. So if I was starting over today, I would start right here where I live doing virtual coho sale. Kansas City, and you can see it's it popped up, Real Estate Investors, a Mary I Facebook group. Okay. I'm already a member of this group, but what I'm going to do is, is if I'm starting today, and you can see I'm already joined up in a lot of these. And the reason why is because this is where your buyers are. So let's take a look at this one, for example. It has 7,476 members. <coughs> you think there's any buyers in that real estate club? There's 7,400 and some odd potential buyers, man. And you're worried about coming up with 150? I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just telling it like it is. And you can see there's all of these wonderful, wonderful posts here about the real estate world in Kansas City. And what you're going to want to do is, is you're going to want to post on every real estate group you can find, right? <laughs> you're going to want to post on it and you're going to want to ask, is there any cash buyers in this group that would be interested in receiving my property deals. I'm 
I'm a real estate wholesaler. That's a good way to start out. Remember, you're not looking to act like a realtor. Now, I misspelled some stuff there. I would go back and correct that before I hit <laughs> before I hit send or post. I'm a Kansas City real I'm a real estate wholesaler in Kansas City. I routinely get property deals under contract. Right? You're just writing a Sorry guys, it's lagging so bad it's hard for me to type it in properly. So, you, but you're getting the idea. If you are a landlord or a fix and flipper, I would like to send you these deals. Please comment with your email and name. It's about that simple. It's about that simple. I'm not going to hit post because I've got a bunch of misspelled shit in here, man. And I don't want to, you know, I don't want to embarrass myself here in my marketplace. <laughs> and it's lagging too much for me to go back and correct it because I'm right in the middle of this show with you guys. So at any rate, that is how you go about building a buyer's list. Um, the last time I did this, <coughs> yeah, I think I uh, posted on that particular group and I found, I think it was 98 people commented, 98. There's groups like that in Facebook in your area as well. Um, if you're in a major area and let me let me give you the best news ever is there's not even um, there's not even a problem finding other dudes asking the similar questions on other groups in the same area and I just take all of their buyers I, I mean it's there's they're falling out of the sky They are falling out of the sky. There are so many buyers. All you have to do is go ask and they will answer you. And then you add them to your get response buyers list, right? Usman says one guy he spoke to, uh, his company buys 20 to 25 properties each month in Memphis. That's absolutely right, dude. Look at the potential money. Look at the potential money, Usman. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. 20 to 25 a month. You think he's got it figured out, guys? I think he's got it figured out. I think he's really got it figured out. I mean, I think this brother knows exactly what's about to happen in his business. He said, big money, bro. <laughs> Absolutely, dude. I love it, man. Thanks for sharing that, Usman. That's great, dude. Hey, I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna come back, answer any questions you have, and then we're gonna wrap this puppy up. <laughs> Hey gang, if you're looking for a little extra help, a little extra assistance, I want to let you know that at justinshamness.com, we do have more advanced courses for real estate wholesaling, and that's bank-owned wholesaling, the co-wholesale joint venture. As well, we also have outsourcing your business, business management, lots of other things, and new things are being added all the time. So check us out there. Plus, we do have that one-on-one -on -one phone consultation and deal closing assistance. So we really, really do want to provide you with everything we can to help you be a complete success at this. Thanks guys and check it out. We'll talk to you soon. Let's get back to the show. Hey you guys, we're wrapping it up. Are there any more questions about virtual coho sale theory, how it works, anything like that we can wrap up real quickly. 
Next week, what we're doing is we're talking about how much success you had in building your buyer's list. What success did you have in building your buyer's list? Remember, you're going out and you're, you're going to pick a market area. You're going to get your email blaster set up and then you're going to start building that buyer's list. And I want to know how successful you were at building your buyer's list next week. I want to hear some positive shit coming out of you guys. Like I got 150 names and emails and I'm ready to go. I've never had more faith in this than I do at this exact moment right here, right now, because I know I got 150 potential customers ready to give me cash. Absolutely. God bless everybody in this group. Absolutely, Carlos. I love you guys. Next week, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about your buyers list, how successful you are. And we're going to talk about also getting into finding JV partners and everybody's going to get that free gift. I'm going to have to get your uh, emails and your market areas next week. And we're going to get you the free gift of the Coho Sale Jumpstart List. Jumpstart List. We're going to jumpstart you. Kelvin says, how do you weed out the fake buyers when they comment like they are real buyers? I don't even care, Kelvin. I want as many people and names on numbers and emails on that list as I can get. There's going to be some bogus ones. There's going to be some good ones. And once you've got 150 names on that list, send out an email to all 150 that, say, that says this. Who here on this list or receiving this email right now is a ready buyer ready to buy today? I've got a contract ready to go right now. Even if you don't, it's okay. The real buyers will step up. Everybody else, just leave them on the list. But you work with the ones that are willing to step up that's the ones you want right okay good question Kelvin good question man excellent all right guys next week we're talking about JV partnering but this week we've got to pick a, we got to pick a marketplace we got to get our email blaster and we got to start st stuffing it full of e buyers <laughs> we got to stuff it full of buyers stuff it full of buyers all right you can tell it's getting late because uh it's getting all x-rated it's about to get graphic up in here <laughs> uh, that's hilarious what place on craigslist do you post the ad excellent question ryan webb excellent question man i placed in in on craigslist i go in the real estate section it's in the for sales for sale section of real estate okay let me back up and say it where it makes sense if you go to Craigslist and you go to for sale and then you go down to real estate and then you go down to real estate for sale by owner. Okay. That's the section that I put it in. Okay. I put it in the real estate for sale by owner section of Craigslist. Yep. And that's where you'll get people all the time jumping up in there, man, looking at your ad and hitting you up at 11 o'clock at night and 1 a.m. And four o'clock and you know and it these are real fuck these are real people with real cash and they're real buyers man and and if you watch the ugly house training videos over at, at real estate wholesalers club.com then you know that i'm big on you responding to all of these mm -hmm. in some form or fashion not not necessarily in the middle of the night but the next day you know you need to be able to respond to these guys because you're building relationships, you're a network, you're you're a networker, you know. You're marketing. You, what are you gonna do? Waste the. This guy took his sweet time to write you a text, even if it was 12:30 at night, and he doesn't know if it's a business line or what it is. I mean, he might be dead as balls serious. He might be ready to shit buy something in the morning. Right. Right. <clears throat> I got list. Um, if you don't have property, how do we get them one? Uh, what are we talking about, Rosalind? Are we talking about doing uh, getting joint venture partners that have property deals? Yep, I'm going to hook you up with some of that. And uh, as far as if a buyer calls you or texts you and says, oh, hey, send me what property deals you have, yeah, listen to this. This is great. This is what I tell all the buyers that call, especially when I'm in a market area and I don't have a property deal readily available at this particular moment. This is what I say to them. Hey, Mr. Cash Buyer, I'm so glad you're interested in being a part of my Cash Buyer's List. 
or interested in buying property deals here in this market area. And what I really want to share with you is, is that man, these deals, they, they sell so fast that I never, ever, ever can accumulate a list. And so, you know, I, I, what I do is I put you on the notify immediately list and I'll let you know as soon as one comes in so that you can get, get on hold of it before anybody else does. Does that sound fair? And like I always say, nobody, and I mean nobody, gets rich in this business alone. You've never done and you never will do a real estate transaction all by yourself. Think about it. So we all need help from time to time, and I look forward to being that help for you. <laughs> that's exactly how it is, man. Yep, yep, that's exactly what I say. I never have time to accumulate a list because they sell so fast. They sell so fast. You know, I wish I had time to accumulate a list sometimes. It'd be nice to have... Shit, I mean, it'd be nice if I had 200 properties just sitting around waiting on you to show up, wouldn't it, Mr. Buyer? Unfortunately, no. All of my deals sell so fast, I can never accumulate a list, so you better jump on the list and get notified right away. Right away. All right, guys. Everybody's encouraging one another and loving on each other. I appreciate it, man. I love you guys. I'm going to sign off. We've been here for over an hour and everybody's ass is getting tired. Love you guys. Hey, don't forget to do your homework. Pick a market area. Get your email set up. Get your email blaster going and build that buyer's list. I want to know how you did next week. How are you coming along on a buyer's list? This is an accountability team session. Don't make me come over and have you up. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching, but don't forget to post, introduce yourself, tag a friend, like us, leave a comment, subscribe, share this video, just do something. Don't just sit there. There's all that money out there. You got to get going, get in motion. This is motion real estate.